My lab is interested in why certain cells respond to chemotherapy and other cells don't respond. And how can we find new ways to treat those cells that are chemo resistant or don't respond to therapy? So we have an assay, which we call BH3 profiling, and that measures how close a cell is to the cell death threshold, so to dying. And we use this assay then to identify new ways or we can combine drugs to more effectively treat cancer cells. In particular, I'll just give an example of a project we've ongoing in the lab. So we're interested in leukemia and in this specific type of leukemia that really doesn't respond to chemotherapy. And we're using this assay that we have called BH3 profiling to look at leukemia in different sites in the body. So leukemia starts in the thymus, but it then spreads in the blood to different organs, to the bone marrow, to lymph nodes, and potentially to spleen. So we're isolating cells from these different organs and trying to figure out whether the um, leukemic cell then changes its cell death sensitivity using our assay. Another project which we've ongoing in the lab is where we've looked in chemo-resistant cancers, these really drug-resistant cancers, and screened a series of small molecules, so over 30,000 small molecules, to try and find new agents that will work on these really drug-resistant cancers. So at the moment, we've identified a really nice novel small molecule. So it's not a drug compound yet, it's a small molecule. And we're in the process of trying to identify how that small molecule works. How does it kill these drug-resistant cancer cells, more over normal cells? And how can we develop that to go from something in the lab something that could eventually treat patients.